When you need to place a loadable family component in a model, but it's not available in the project, then you need to load the family into the project. There's a few ways to go about this. To begin, switch to the Insert ribbon, and then in the Load from Library panel, you'll see two tools that can be used to load families. Load Autodesk Family is used to load families from the Revit Family Library, and then Load Family can be used to load a custom family from a local or network library location. Let's begin with Load Autodesk Family. So when you click that tool, it opens the Load Autodesk Family dialog. On the left, there are filter options. You can filter by category, or you can browse. And if you look through the browse options, you'll see several Revit categories, but then this is really just the historical grouping of the Revit family library. They don't correspond to all the categories. For example, there's mechanical. So if you want to find an air terminal, you got to search through mechanical and then MEP and then air side components and then air terminals. Or you could simply expand the category drop down and select air terminals there as well. Let me go back to all results and then and then in the in the category drop down I'll select air terminals. So just whatever you're used to, if you're used to the the historical grouping, if you will, uh, what's been in Revit for as long as I can remember, you can use these browse options, or you can simply expand the category drop down and select a category of elements that you want to load a family for. All right, I'm going to select doors. And then when you select an option here on the left, anything that is filtered down here on the right, any family that fits that will be available here. And you can see a thumbnail preview and then the family name. So you can see there's a lot of doors here. Let me just select one. I'm going to select this fancy revolving door here and click load. And when I do, we get this specify types dialog. And so when a family is created and there are multiple types that are needed, um, say maybe more than four or five, then you can create what's called a type catalog. And that can be created in a text file and it can be saved in the same location as the family so that when it's loaded, you can then select the types that you want to load. And so basically it saves you from having to create several types inside the family. So I'm just going to select one and click OK. And then if I go to the architecture ribbon and activate the door tool, you can then see our fancy revolving door here in the type selector. So we loaded, in, loaded it into the project and now it's available. All right, now that I have the door tool active, you can see in the contextual ribbon that there's a load family tool here. So when I click load family, it opens the load family dialog and I can then navigate to a location where I have a door family to load it into the project. But be aware that when you click load family, when a tool is active, you can only select a family that belongs to the category of the associated tool. So in this case, I could only load door families. I'm going to end the command here and go back to the insert ribbon. Now, if I click load family, I can then load a family of any category. So it doesn't just have to be of the tool. So now I'm just using the load family tool from the insert ribbon so I can load any family category. So I'll navigate to some exercise files here and select a, a supply air air terminal family and click open. And now this family is actually already in the project. So now I get this family already exists dialog. And so this is something you want to pay attention to because maybe you didn't know that that family had already been loaded in. And so what I would recommend is, is if you don't know, 
I would just click cancel because what, what if you have an older version of that family? Maybe you have a coworker and they updated the family and they have a newer version in here. Then you probably don't want to override it. But if this is what you do want to do, maybe you made some slight modifications and you do want to load it back in, then you have two options. You can simply overwrite the existing version. So if you made some updates to some geometry, you added a new parameter, you could select overwrite the existing version. If you updated a parameter value, you can select overwrite the existing version and its parameter values. But be aware that it's only type parameters. So if you have instances placed in your model and the instance properties have been updated, then it's not going to overwrite those. It's only going to overwrite the type properties. So I'll simply select overwrite the existing version. And now that air terminal family is loaded into the model. So just be aware of where you're grabbing families from. So I think it's always important to understand what you're loading into the project. And then also be aware of if, yeah, if you have a coworker that's updated something, you always want to be aware of that. But once again, load Autodesk family to load a, a default Revit family or load family to go grab a, a custom family. Howdy. Thanks for watching. If you'd like more free content from Click to BIM, please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We also have affordable subscription options at clicktobim.com where you can access all of our videos. We also have an amazing search feature that allows you to search through every single word in all of our videos to help you quickly find the answers to your questions.